when, when somebody behaves that way, when, a, when the person who's supposed to be our, our top leader acts like that, it emboldens other people to be mean and cruel mm -hmm. and divisive and racist. And it frays the fabric of all of our lives. And it affects how our kids see the world. It affects our families and how they get along. It affects how the world sees America. And that's why Joe talks about the soul of America. And, and that more than anything is what separates him from his opponent. And that's what's at stake in this election. Joe Biden cares about every American. Can leave no doubt. We can't afford to be complacent. Not this 
this spot. Not in this election. No. The reason I'm back here, South Florida, is because I know some of you have not voted yet. Some of you haven't voted yet. Some of your friends, probably all of you who are here, but, <laughs> some of you have voted. And it's not because you think the guy in the office is doing a good job. It's not because you don't see the pain that's going around because this pandemic has been missing. But it's because you're skeptical that your vote's going to make a difference. Or you're just frustrated because you don't think government can make a difference. And so I want to talk to you. You know, I, I don't know what your circumstances are, but if you're hearing me right now, you haven't voted yet. I, I, I want you to understand. A president can't solve every problem. Government can't solve every problem. But you know what it can do is, if you have people in there who care about you, it can make things better. If we elect a house and a Senate, and a state house and a state Senate, yeah. yeah. It can make a difference. I wasn't able to make sure that I, everybody in America got health insurance. That's what I wanted to do. I got blocked. We got what we could. But you know what? More than 20 million Americans got health insurance. Today. Over 100 million people had protection if they had pre existing conditions that didn't have it before. It made things better. Thank you. Thank you. A president by himself or herself can't eliminate all racial bias in the criminal justice system. That, that is a legacy that dates back a long way. But if we elect district attorneys and state's attorneys and sheriffs focused on equality and justice, it can make things better. Yeah. It can make sure some of the things that young people were protesting this summer don't happen as frequently. It's worth voting for. It's not about making things perfect, it's about making things better. Yeah. By putting us on a track so that generations can follow, we can look back and say, you know what, right, right then, in that election, we, we, we took a new path and, and things got better. That's how so many of us enjoy the, the, the benefits of others who voted in the past. The, the, the reason we got minimum wages is because union workers were willing to work hard and we sacrifice. And then that got better for everybody. The reason women have the right to vote and to run for office is because generations back suffered this march and, and, and advocated until they got the right to vote. The reason that I'm able to stand here as a former president of the United States is because people like John Lewis were willing to brave on batons and horses and dogs and fire hoses to fight for us. Thank <laughs> you. 
typically in most elections, a little bit over half of us who are eligible. Think about that. Close to half of the people who have the right to vote don't vote. Imagine a 60% of us vote. Imagine a 70% of us vote. Imagine what we do. Imagine January 20th when we swear in a president. Yes! Yes! We care about working America. We have a plan to help you start getting ahead. Who believe in science. We have a plan to protect this planet for our kids. Who believe in racial equality. Yes. And we need to do the work to bring us closer to that point where here in America, it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter where you come from or who you love or how much money you got. You are treated with dignity and you are treated with respect. Yes. And you can make it and, and chase your dreams. It depends on you right now if you're not voting. I need you to vote. Yeah. Yes. All of that is possible. All of that is within reach if you want. For all the times, you know, people have asked me these last four years, I said, boy, how have you, how have you been put up with all this? <laughs> and I, I confess, I said, look, there are times where Michelle and I were at the dinner table, we get discouraged. We're just surprised, you know, when we hear a president say, well, the Good people on both sides after a Nazi march. <laughs> or that there are times where we're discouraged by some of the outlandish statements that are made. But even though we've seen some of our worst impulses encouraged, we've also seen America at its best in these last four years. We've seen folks stand up be heard. We see folks of every age and background pack city centers and town squares so the families wouldn't be separated. We see the parkland kids lead us to the moment when we finally achieve common sense gun safety law. We we see healthcare workers like Grace risk their lives day in, day out to, to save somebody else's loved ones. We see people contribute and volunteer, help out their neighbors, look after that, that elderly person that maybe doesn't have somebody looking after them, bringing them groceries, helping them out. We've seen Americans of all races joining together to declare in the face of injustice and brutality that Black Lives Matter no more, but no less. Everybody's worthy of respect and dignity and fair treatment. Mm -hmm. And we don't want any child in this country to, to feel the continuous state of racism. Mm. We've seen it here in Miami, South Florida, we've seen it all across. America is a good and decent place. <laughs> but we see so much noise and nonsense and misinformation. Mm. Sometimes it's hard for us to remember. That. Too much. Too much. Some of us get confused. Some of us have friends who, you know, they're, they're looking at their Twitter feed or they're watching certain programs on TV and they, they're good people. They just, they've got, they, they, they've got wrong information. But, but the truth is, we can do better than we do. Uh -huh. We are better than what's been reflected in Yes. And I'm asking you to remember what this country can do. I'm asking you to believe. Yes. In those who believe in this country have a hard time to help us build the Yes. Yes. And the Americans who are hurting right now. I'm asking you not to let down the young people who are out there marching because they believe what we have taught our children about justice. Help them channel their activism into action. We can't just imagine a better future. We've got to fight for it. We've got to out-hustle the other side.
website. We've got to vote for it. The president's declared that you know, he, he's basically planned to announce victory no matter what the numbers are. Well, you know what? If we beat him soundly, he won't be able to do it. Yeah. That requires everybody to turn out to vote. That requires folks right here in South Florida to yeah, vote. And vote. If you are eligible to vote and you believe the country can do better, I need you to cast your back. Make a way. Tomorrow we can choose to protect health care for our families. Tomorrow we can build the economy that reward working Americans. Tomorrow we can elect leaders who reflect our best in the and not our worst. Tomorrow we can choose hope over fear and unity over division. And if we do vote, if we vote like our lives depend on it, we will elect Joe Biden as president. Yeah.